Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! How many cards have you received? Uh, so far, I've only received um, 46. Hmm, but the day is still young. I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying cupids! How are you, Harry Potter? Stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards? Ugh! Keep away from me! Harry flicked through the blank pages of the diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry Potter. Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O. K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up, and Harry was pitched headfirst into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack made by an open door was a boy of about sixteen. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rebaeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him! He wouldn't! He never! And then, from out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream unheard by anyone. A vast, low-slung, hairy body and a tangle of black legs, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor-sharp pincers, the thing scuttled away, tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! The scene whirled, the darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron! Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets fifty years ago! 